Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, VC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning, I'm going to touch on something that is probably going to tick off a few um, well-minded, strong, believing people. And the reason I say that is because I'm one of them. And I've read this verse a thousand times. And apparently didn't ever want to see it before because it challenges me. And so I just read through it without letting God speak to me in it. And I'm hoping it'll speak to you too because some of you that watch probably are just like me. I've got an opinion about everything. As a pastor, I often don't share those publicly. But I have an opinion about everything including the way things should be run, the government, all kinds of stuff, right? I have an opinion. And so reading in our chapter of Proverbs today, it's the 24th. Hopefully you've read chapter 24. If not, hopefully you will as soon as I'm done. If no other reason to go find this verse, because I'm not going to tell you the actual reference number, so you have to read the whole thing. I know. That's that's mean, but, you know, hopefully so you'll find this verse so that you can say that's not what it says. Um, and maybe it doesn't. Maybe you need to reach out to me and challenge me in what I'm about to say. But this is the way I read it. The verse reads out of the Holman Christian Standard, and I went back and I read it in several other translations because I didn't like what I was reading. The Holman Christian Standard says this. My son, fear Yava as well as the king. Or fear the Lord as well as the king. And don't associate with rebels. For destruction from them will come suddenly. Who knows what distress these two can bring. The king represents the government, the ruling party. My son, fear the Lord as well as the king. Don't associate with rebels. For their destruction will come suddenly. Who knows? God or the king could bring. Wow. Challenged me. Because. Well, because. And you can imagine why. What about you? What about you? Do you see opportunities where you've challenged authority in your life? Instead of fearing them, instead of honoring them and reverencing them, even though you didn't disagree, even though you disagree with them, God says through Solomon, fear them, reverence them, and don't associate with the people that don't. Wow. When I am irritated with somebody who has authority in my life, whether it be a government official, whether it be a pastor, whether it be a boss, what, whatever. I'm always chasing after someone to agree with me. And Solomon says, don't do that. How difficult is that in our lives? So, go read chapter 24. Find these verses. My son, fear the Lord as well as the king and don't associate with rebels for destruction from them for them will come suddenly. Who can know what distress these two can bring? See what God has to say to you today through those verses. I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. And by the way, if these are helpful to you, don't forget to like and share them. You can also find them on YouTube at Pastor Stitch. And you can also um, soon 
find them on my webpage, pastorstitch.com. I love y'all. Have a great day. God bless.